Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I want to talk about the 13 books I want to read before I turn 30. Yes, I am turning 30 this year at the very end of November on the 24th. I am scared, but I'm also excited. Um, it's weird. Like, I don't feel that old and I don't feel like 30 is that old. But like when I was younger, I used to tell my mom, oh, you're only, you're old once you get to 30 or whatever. And now that I'm going to be 30, I'm like, oh, younger Emily would think I was getting old, but I don't feel that old. So whatever. Um, <laughs> I have 16 books, but I want to at least read 13 of them. So that's why there's going to be 16 books on here. But my goal is to read at least 13 of them. So we're going to get right into it. Again, I'm not doing any synopses. I might give you like a brief reason why this is on this list, um, but that'll be it. So we're going to kick it off with number one. That is The Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Um, this one, along with some other ones, is on this list because we're dealing with older characters and family drama. So this one's a fantasy. I think some this band of warriors is getting back together because one of them um, needs to go help save their daughter. So I just, I am a mother of two and I just want to see more of this representation in books. So that is why this one is on here. Same with the next one, The Wolf of Ovignaro by K.S. Veloso. Vil I am so sorry. Um, this one has to deal with a queen who's a mother and that's all I really know about it. She is referred to as the bitch queen. So I need to know more why but I really like that this one has to deal with like mother aspects. As with the next one, there is a mother character in here who is kind of like a big part of the story. So that is The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. I hear nothing but good things about this book. Um, everyone just raves about it for the most part who has read this. And this is just one of those books that I feel like I need to pick up. Next, I have The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst, and this one has, I think, older characters kind of along the lines of Kings of Wild. There's like a band of warriors or whoever, and they have to come back together to save someone's family member, I think, who is in trouble. So <laughs> that one's on here. I'm really excited to get to these, all of them. Um, so yes. Next, I have Unsold by Will White, and this one's on here specifically because I've had this book for a while, and I hear so many good things about this series. I think it's like a progression fantasy. Um, essentially, like each book you get better and better, I guess. And this one just sounds so good. And it's so short. And I kind of want to read like one a month. So I think there's going to be 12 books in this. So, you know, a whole year of reading this series. So that's really all the reason why that that's on there. I just really want to get to this one. I've had it for a while. Next, I have From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I can't believe I haven't read this book yet. This series yet. I usually love Jennifer L. Armentrout's writing and this book has been getting so much buzz and I just can't believe I haven't read it yet so I want to read this before I turn 30. Next is another one that I can't believe I haven't read yet and that's Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. I don't even feel like I need to say anything about that. I need to read this before I turn 30 because I feel like if I don't like what am I doing with my life? The next one I actually have right beside me so I will just hold it up and that is Stray by Rachel Vinson. The only reason this one's on here is because my mom got this for me years and years and years ago. This is the oldest book I own and she got this at like a garage sale, but I've heard really good things about it. Um, so I really want to give it a try, but it's just so big and like, I just don't know what to expect from it. So I really need to read this. This is one of the ones on this list that I need to get to. Next, I have The Night Circus by Erin Morganston. I know this is also one of those ones like, you haven't read that yet? Like, I can't believe it. And you know what? I can't either. I think I get so hyped up for some of these really popular books that I'm too afraid to read them and because I'm afraid I'm going to not like them. So I just need to read this one already. It's a circus and I genuinely love books that have to deal with the circus. So I just need to read this one. Next, I have a middle grade and that's Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. This one's been compared to Harry Potter a lot, and I love Harry Potter, even though we don't we don't talk about the author. Um, but this one just seems so wholesome, and I just want to read this already. Next, I have an adult sci-fi, which is really different from this list, and it's not usually something I read, but that is Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. Um, I started to watch the show on Amazon, and I was really enjoying what I had been watching, but then I thought maybe I should read the books first because this is a series that a lot of people adore 
and I've heard really good things about it. So my goal is to hopefully try and make this one into the 13 books that I read before I turn 30. The next two are YA books and one of them is from an ongoing series and another one is just part of a duology but the one that's from like an ongoing series is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I for whatever reasons have not continued on. I've read The Infernal Devices and The Mortal Instruments multiple times. I read um, only one book of the like short stories which was Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy and then I just stop and never continue on and I believe that that has to deal with like a lot of her books are kind of repetitive feeling and they're pretty easy to guess what's going to happen but I really want to see what all the hype is about this trilogy um the Dark Orifices because this series gets so much hype so much love so many people just absolutely love the Dark Orifices and I need to get to it I own all the books I just haven't read it yet. <laughs> the other YA book is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I know this one is beloved on booktube and I have just been so hesitant to pick it up because I wasn't the hugest fan of her daughter Smoke and Bone trilogy but this one just sounds so good and it's just I don't know. When people talk about it it kind of gives me like Avatar vibes you know with the blue people and I just I have so many like high expectations for this series, duology, whatever, that I'm afraid to pick it up. The next two are by the same author. Um, they are The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien. I love The Lord of the Rings movies. I love The Hobbit movies. I actually have The Hobbit somewhere. It's somewhere in storage. Um, but I just, I need to read these. I know that they're pretty slow and dense and a little boring, but like, I still feel like I can't say I'm a true fan of The Lord of the Rings until I read these books. Like, I just want to read them so badly, but I don't want to rush through them. I just want to, like, enjoy them and savor them and take as long as I need to read them. So I'm not sure if these two, or at least The Lord of the Rings trilogy, will get read and be one of these 13. But I'm hoping The Hobbit will because it's a shorter, more fun read, I think. So fingers crossed that I can get to those hopefully at least one. We'll see. And then the final one is one I've been wanting to read for so long, but again, it's just so intimidating and it just, it's so different from what I normally read. And that is The Ship of Theseus by, um, J. Abrams, J. J. Abrams, whatever, um, S is called the black book with the other book inside. And there's all kinds of um, goodies inside of it that go along with the story and there's notes from these two people that are reading this and trying to figure out like this whole conspiracy theory over it and it just like when I think about it my brain just goes holy crap like it just sounds so good it sounds like something I would absolutely love but I'm so afraid to pick it up I need to pick this book up this one has to be one of these books that I pick up but it's, again, like Lord of the Rings, I want to take my time and I'm so stressed because I want to read it in the right way. But there's really no right or wrong way you can read this book. So I just need to dive into it and go. <laughs> Those are all 16 books, but really I'm going to, I want to read like 13 out of the 16 before I turn 30. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button down below if you did. Comment letting me know. Uh, which of these 16 books I should prioritize to make it to 13 and subscribe if you want to I'd greatly appreciate it and until my next video I will see you guys again soon bye